Uh, it's the last day of direct flights between Russia and Ukraine before a ban introduced by both countries against each other comes into force. Ukraine banned Russian airlines flights as part of an intended punishment for the annexation of Crimea. Moscow called the move madness, then announced that it would mirror the sanction. Sarah Rainsford reports. So this is check-in here in Moscow for a flight to Kiev, but it's going to be one of the last of its kind because as of Sunday, all direct flights between Ukraine and Russia have been banned. Now, it was Ukraine that first announced that Russian airlines wouldn't be welcome inside their country. Moscow said that was an act of madness, but it did retaliate, and now there are, as I say, to be no flights at all. It's part of uh, the armed conflict spilling over into a trade war between the two countries, but it's passengers who are going to be affected first. It's stupid. The, the countries are neighbours, the countries are relatives, there are lots of people living both in, in Ukraine and Russia. They want to communicate, basically, and it's up to the authorities to, to stop the stupidity. The government does things, and it's the people who suffer. Russia and Ukraine have always lived together. Half of all Ukrainians are married to Russians. So, to be honest, this is total nonsense. Russian officials say around 800,000 passengers fly between Ukraine and Russia every year, the vast majority of them on Russian airlines. And they've estimated the cost in terms of lost ticket sales to be around $110 million. All of that at a tough time already for airlines because the economy both here and in Ukraine is struggling. The airline ban comes amid a whole wave of new sanctions by Kiev against Russian businesses and individuals. Punishment, Kiev says, for the annexation of Crimea and for Russian support of armed rebels in eastern Ukraine. But what's interesting is that this comes at a time when the armed conflict in Ukraine has died down and there are real moves there towards a political solution. I think it's a sign of just how deep the political tensions between the two countries still run. So from Sunday, there'll be no more Kiev on boards like this one as all those flights are cancelled. There is talk of some kind of negotiations to try to resolve this crisis, but in the current political climate, that does look difficult. And meanwhile, passengers face a very long flight around if they want to get to Kiev or an extremely long and slow train journey. Sarah Rainsford. Labour is spending this weekend campaigning to raise awareness of what it claims are millions of people missing from the electoral register. The 